Welcome to Asian Garden to Table. Long bean is such a delicious and popular vegetable, which I think every home gardener should have. The best temperature for growing long bean is 68 to 86 degree. In Florida, spring and autumn are the best seasons to grow long bean. Compared to spring, autumn is more challenging. Here I'm sharing with you my experience of growing long bean in autumn time. I started seed at the end of September when high temperature during the day was about 90 degree and low at night was at mid 70s. It was still hot, so make sure long bean seedlings get enough water. Due to warm weather, long bean grew very fast. From seed to reaching the top of trellis, it only took 5 weeks. By the end of October, long bean already covered up the whole trellis and started blooming. Pruning method for autumn cropping is similar to spring cropping. Because long bean grow less vigorous in autumn, I planted them densely, about a plug per half foot and two plants in a plug. So when I direct long bean onto trellis, I only use May vine which can guarantee strong enough for fruiting. When the vines fill up the trellis, they look healthy and vigorous. At the end of October, the high temperature was about 85 degree, low below 70 degree. The day and night temperature difference increased. Long bean can fruit very well under this condition. So more and more flowers were growing and more and more beans developed. At this moment, long bean requires a lot of nutrients. So it is necessary to supplement some potassium and phosphorus rich fertilizer. The first problem I had was outfit. They started to show up on the main stem, patios, flowers, or young beans as clusters. Check long bean plant every couple days. As soon as you spot any outfit, get rid of them. I usually put on my gloves and squeeze the outfit clusters. The earlier we discover outfit and take care of them, the easier to control them and save our vegetables. Continue to do this for one or two weeks. Outfit will get less and less and fade away from our garden. Removing the pest by hand seems tedious, but it works surprisingly well. I haven't used any pesticide in my garden for more than three years. Powdery mildew is another stubborn problem in my garden. There really is no way to remove it completely, even using chemicals. It exists in the soil, on the plant, and in the air. Under the climate condition in Florida, powdery mildew infects the garden all year round. What I usually do is to prune the plant well and keep the garden ventilated to prevent and reduce powdery mildew. If the problem gets serious, spray some non-toxic solutions such as cow milk, baking powder, dish soap, and so on every few days. This helps to control powdery mildew. Long bean varieties also matter. I recommend to choose early or early to medium maturity varieties. These varieties usually take 40 to 50 days from seed to first pick. So even the plants are affected by pest or powdery mildew since they produce early and intensely, you will be able to harvest before the problems get seriously bad. Our garden is a mini ecosystem. Weeds and vegetables grow together. Good bugs and bad bugs compete. Beneficial bacteria and harm bacteria coexist. It is not right or necessary to kill them all by using toxicant. When this ecosystem stays balanced with some human intervention, the leverage will tilt to the good end. The method I mentioned above is based on this theory. Okay, that's all for today. If you find it helpful, don't forget to give us a thumb up. For more growing and cooking videos, please subscribe to our channel or visit our website at asiangardentotable.com. Thank you very much. I will see you next time.